What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Papa JT. And before I begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Um, and we have some Le'Veon Bell news. So the Pittsburgh Steelers, as I expected, are now. We're hearing reports that they're actively shopping Le'Veon Bell. And this is not a surprise because the NFL trading deadline is in two weeks. And expect to hear more aggressive reports about all the t leaking the teams that's trading for him and the possible players that were traded and trades that were not accepted or trades that were declined by the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Le'Veon Bell, it was a report by Adam, Adam, no, and rap report, I believe. And he said that the Pittsburgh Steelers are actively shopping Le'Veon Bell and they want, they want a second round pick and they want a player and this kind of player that they wanted they didn't want any kind of player they wanted a capable player near a, not elite but a capable player so what they mean by this is they want a player that's pretty good and i'm taking they want a young player and this could mean real a lot of things this could mean for the seattle seahawks they want earl thomas for the new york jets they want jamal adams and this could mean a bunch of things so i gathered up a bunch of trade scenarios and players that could be traded for Le'Veon. so first we have to the colts now before i begin a lot of people need to know that um to get a star player you have to give up some pieces so you can't really call these stupid because you can't really get a player like Le'Veon bell one of the best well maybe the best running back in the nfl and uh once in a generation type talent i mean we see a lot of running backs being able to catch as wide receivers but not at not at how Le'Veon bell plays he's basically the best running back on your team and maybe the first or second best wide receiver on your team depending on who he gets traded to so you can't just give up a draft pick and think that's going to be enough you're going to have to give up a piece on your team rather people want to admit it or not but that's how this is going to go so either the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to get the player that they want for them or they're going to get a bunch of draft picks. That's how it's going to go. I'm pretty sure they want the player that can come in and fill in mostly a safety. So the first one we have the Steelers and the Indianapolis Colts. The Indianapolis Colts receive Le'Veon Bell and the Pittsburgh Steelers receive safety Malik Hooker who had an ACL injury and would have won rookie of the defensive rookie of the year if he never suffered that acl tear and fourth round pick a fourth round pick of this year's draft um this trade works because the pittsburgh steelers need a safety we have morgan burnett but he's old and i suggest that we probably want to get younger pair him up with terrell edmonds and you have your secondary your your safety duo of the next six to seven years and you got a fourth round pick in the Indianapolis Colts get, get much needed help in the run game with Le'Veon Bell and it helps the passing game. So Andrew Luck will certainly give him the ball and Frank Rich will figure out creative ways to get Le'Veon Bell with the ball in his hands. Next we have the Seattle Seahawks getting Le'Veon Bell for Earl Thomas now. I just suggest that this trade will work because both of these players have one year deals left Le'Veon Bell really had is a one year rental and Earl Thomas is a one year rental so this trade works both ways I'm um, pretty sure both of these teams could figure out ways to get these players the deals that they want or near the deals and they're both one year rentals so I since they're one year rentals I don't see these teams giving up any draft picks um the Pittsburgh Steelers need safety help I think they'll probably end up moving Terrell Edmonds to strong safety and Earl Thomas at his natural position at free safety. And the Seattle Seahawks get Le'Veon Bell and they still need help in the run game because they still been struggling despite their efforts last week. And he'll help with the wide receiving core, which isn't really that good. And maybe the Seahawks might have one of the worst wide receiving cores in the NFL. Maybe. It's pretty mediocre if you ask me. And then the last trade we have with the New York Jets who have been the rumored number one team Number one team that's trying to trade for Le'Veon Bell, they're going to have to give up Jamal Adams, the strong safety. 
they're gonna have to give him up they tried to trade for Khalil Mack and he was rumored to be in that deal I'm not I'm not sure how accurate that is but if that's true I don't see any reason why the New York Jets won't give up Jamal Adams in this situation for a player of Le'Veon Bell caliber I also see them giving up a six round pick and then the New York Jets side they get Le'Veon Bell Morgan Burnett just so they can fill the void that will be left if they were to trade Jamal Adams so these are the possible trade scenarios and news and updates on the latest Le'Veon Bell situation I will make sure to keep you guys updated whenever some new news happens and make sure for you guys to get that news you need to subscribe to the channel also make sure to comment your opinions and like the videos and thanks for